Fuzzy bag. Oh. For a second, you want me to get back? Hold on. Can I, can I see it for a second? The thing we are going to talk about. Hey everyone. <laughs> so on the weekend, Ava and I went shopping. She only talks when I talk. <laughs> hey everyone, thanks for watching. So today I am bringing you a drugstore haul, another drugstore haul. Figured that I had enough products and they're interesting products, so I thought it'd be fun to share it with you guys. Caring and sharing. That's what we do, caring and sharing. So the first item we're gonna talk about is from NYX and it is the NYX Advent Pop 10 color shadow palette. And this one is in the shade Surreal My Heart. Looks like this. I have seen these online a lot and I, I haven't noticed them in store. This was the first time that I noticed it in store and this was the only palette they had in store. But really, I can't hold you in swatch. Really, this teal shade right here is what caught my eye first. I love these shades and this was roughly $20. They are very pigmented, very creamy, smooth, all of it. I've only swatched them, I haven't done any looks with them yet, but yeah, I'm excited to play around with this more and create some looks. If you guys wanna see like a get ready with me with this palette, then let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I really wanna do something with like the teal, the blue, the yellow even. So let me know in the comments if you want to see a look with this palette. My favorite lash glue. This is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe in Black. I've only seen it in black. I haven't noticed any other like white or clear or anything. Next item is another NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick. Liquid Lipstick. I love these. I've got... My lipstick wall is like falling off like I'm missing some on this side it's driving me crazy anyway these four down here are these liquid suede life's a beach uh, I love puns like that life's a beach and it's a very I can swatch it for you proud youtuber moment there we go look at that ugly swatch oh it's a nest it's a very coral, like corally shade. I like it swatched and I like it in the tube. I don't love it on my lips. This is what I have on my eyes today as my, I don't know what to call it, like second eyeliner. Yeah, that is the like coral that I've got going on in here. This is also by NYX and it is the Primal Colors Single Eyeshadow in Hot Orange. That it's so pretty you guys I I burnt my finger yesterday and I I don't know I didn't realize how often I use this finger until I can't like do it I can't do anything with it anyway that is what it looks like it is so pretty it's just a bright electric orange and I love it I've done this shade with a fluffy brush just on the outer corner and done a very natural eye and I just love that pop of orange like oh it's so pretty so I've been looking for a new shampoo and conditioner because I am trying to transition all of my beauty items into more of a vegan lifestyle right now I eat a vegan diet like a plant-based diet but when I run out of a certain beauty item, I'm trying to replace that with a more vegan option, if that makes any sense. So shampoo and conditioner is definitely one of those items. So I found this, and it's called Nature's Gate Vegan Shampoo. It looks like, ah, looks like that. And they had a few different kinds. I was looking for one that would be good for color treated hair. I couldn't find anything specifically for color treated hair. So I got the Nourishing. This one has hemp and argan oil. And I also got the matching conditioner. So 
So same thing, vegan conditioner with hemp and argan oil. I've been wanting to go on the natural deodorant train for a while now and so many people love the La Vanilla from Sephora or like you can get it at Sephora, I'm sure you can get it at other places. And I don't know, it's I find it expensive. I think the travel size one I was looking at today was like $12 for a travel size deodorant. So I figured there are other options, there has to be other options. And I found this one right here. It's called the Green Beaver Company. It's a natural deodorant and it's purely Canadian. Hence the beaver. Beaver. Canadian. <laughs> Canadian beaver. Yes, no. <laughs> and mine is in the scent lavender. So oh. alum aluminum, 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 aluminum free, parabens free, and pro propylene, propylene glycol, propylene gly glycol, right? Yeah. Free. It's vegan, GMO free, and not tested on animals. Uh, it's supposed to have 24 hour protection with new sage extract and skin soothing lavender tea. So I've been wearing it for a couple of days and from what I have heard and kind of researched is that it takes your body approximately two weeks to transition into a natural deodorant. So it kind of gets rid of the deodorant that you were using before, like the alum aluminum. <laughs> aluminum and all the other ingredients that are in regular deodorant, your body just kind of like pushes all of that, detoxes, I guess detox would be a good word, detoxifies all that stuff out. And then after the two week period, the natural deodorant kicks in and you're good. So basically you don't smell that great for two weeks and then you're fine after that. That's just like what I've, I've heard in the research that I've done on natural deodorant. That's kind of like the testimony. I haven't put it to much of a test yet. It has been pretty rainy the last few days, so I haven't been like super sweaty or anything. That's so gross, but you know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping to go for a run later tonight and like really put it to the test because honestly, like <laughs> I don't want to smell bad right I don't want to smell gross I don't want it like basically lavender scented BO that's gross so I'll report back but okay honestly like the green beaver that just that makes me laugh a lot three primers by elf elf is a cruelty free brand and my, I know there's a kitty say hi to the camera Hi camera! Mom. Mom. Hi! Okay. The primers that I've been using lately um, for like color correcting and hydrating are from Maybelline and so far, as far as I know, Maybelline is not a cruelty free company, but e.l.f. is. So I picked up three e.l.f. primers. This one is tone adjusting, so it's the green one. I have a lot of red in my skin and after like washing my face and exfoliating, I get really, really red. So I like using a green concealer. The next one I picked up is the mineral primer. And I think this was like the glow. Yeah, kind of like the, the glowy dewy one. And then I saw a hydrating one and this was new. I, I never keep boxes, I hate boxes but I'm pretty sure on the box it said that the hydrating one was new. So I've only tried the tone adjusting, the green one so far, and I do really like it. It is a thicker, moussier formula. So that is everything from this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really, really excited about finding some more like natural vegan type products. Like I said, I'll keep posted. If I smell good or not, ugh, I don't know. If you guys are interested in seeing a look with any of these newer NYX shadows, I know some of these have been out for a while, but here in Canada, it takes forever for things to actually get into the stores. So like I said, these are new to me. 
So if you guys are interested in seeing any kind of get ready with me looks with these, let me know in the comments. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Any blown kisses? You, oh, thank you. You can follow me on social media. All the links are down below. I mean, if, if you want to, there's no pressure. It's all good. No pressure, right? Right. It from, oh, that is it from us for now, but we will see you guys very, very soon. Say bye. 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 Shart. Did you shart? Did you shart in your trainer? No. Oh, almost punched me in the face. <laughs> almost got another boo boo. <laughs> Look, Hi. Oh, don't jump on me. I'm a jelly Oh, my God. Mark it with an A. Put it in the oven for Ava. Hooray!